what's going on guys i uh i did a thing since i've been fishing more i wanted to buy more stuff but a lot of the stores are obviously closed plus i don't want to really go out to them so uh i did a thing now i'm not saying this is gonna make me not get the coronavirus i'm just saying like i just don't want to be by people whatever i got one i already opened it up and i like looked at the top and i'm like why don't i just make a video about unboxing this that might be kind of cool it might not be cool i don't know but we're gonna do it sorry the sun's kind of weird right here uh if you guys don't know what this is essentially it's like those like those monthly subscription boxes where you can get stuff sent to you you just pay whatever they have them for like sports teams they have them for i think even like clothes you can just get clothes sent to you like pants and shirts and stuff this one's for fishing so this is the elite box too which i don't know why i got the more expensive one i was feeling saucy so uh i did it what's cool too is you can look at uh like the different what was i gonna say oh you can get like different you can what am i trying to say you can customize it for a different fish too so you don't have to get it for bass which i did you can get it for walleye for pan fish if you fish for bluegill i don't know i think that's weird uh you can do like saltwater stuff first things first they give you all this stuff i'm not gonna look at it yet because it's gonna say what's in here and i want to be surprised so let's just pull out one thing at a time oh wow this is called a motorboat that's funny uh, this is really weird. It's like a it's like a swim bait, but it's got like a, a weird prop on the back. I don't know what this is. 13 fishing. It's floating. Uh, okay. I mean, it looks cool. It looks like it's going to break really quick. The color name is called Blueberry Yum Yum. Uh, dude, we're catching fish on this for sure. This looks like it's going to target giant fish, though. I don't, I don't know how many giant fish are in northern Illinois, but... Next is gonna be some, these are called bruiser baits. These are just like, they're just like crawdads. Let's open them. Oh, I think they're, are they scented? Yeah, they're scented. Are they? I don't think they're scented. I don't know what, if they are scented, they smell like shit. Oh, that's pretty cool. A little crawdad looking thing the back is like red i don't know why the back would be red but hey i don't know i don't design baits i just try to fish them that's cool i like those another soft plastic thing vertical lures i can't even see what this is it's all black i'm just gonna open it it says not for human consumption so stupid uh wow these are really weird holy shit these are oh my god there's it's like a tube is it a tube yeah it's hollow in the middle trying to show this on camera there's four little like what would you call these appendages there's four of these on the bottom it's a little tube bait i've never used these but that's the point of this box is to fish stuff that i've never fished before so i guess i guess i like them these are they have to be scented my fingers are like sticky there's a little sticker it's cool i don't know what i'm gonna do with that but thanks for the sticker all right another soft plastic thing uh color changing baits i'm sorry what activated by water temperature multiple color changes to imitate live breeding prey fish you guys ever heard of color changing baits well they're red now hold on oh these smell like garbage they're really really small uh so far they're not changing color. Oh, they are changing colors. Look at the bottom's like white when I'm holding it. It must turn white when it gets warmer or yellow, I guess. That is so weird, what the hell? I've never seen anything like this. Hang on, if this magic trick. It was just red, right? Uh, it's still kind of red, but it's changing. That is so weird, it's yellow now. It says multiple color changes, right? And the back's got a picture of them being like purple and red and yellow, so. What? I, I honestly, I kind of don't want to touch this because that's, there might be something in here that could like kill me. <laughs> Look at that, that's so weird. That's so weird. How's that made? This product can expose you to chemicals including vinyl chloride, titanium dioxide, cadmium, I don't know what that is, and disonal phthalate. That's a weird fucking word. This word starts with P-H-T-H, phthalate which is known in the state of California to cause cancer. So that's, yeah, I'm not gonna touch that. All right, what we got next? Oh, these are cool. Little bullet head jigs. These are nice. 
uh, super universal. You can use them for, are they universal? I don't even know what I'm saying. You can put swim baits on there. You can, I guess you could fish them like a jig, like if you jig it up and down in the water, but they're kind of more for like swim baits. Those are nice. I don't really have any, so. Thank you, MTB. Not MTV, MT. B. Okay. Uh, okay. Namaste, Gil. I don't know what these are. I've never seen them, but they're just little bluegills. I think they're squishy. Oh, but the eyeballs aren't squishy. I'm opening this. Oh, there's a staple in it. That's all it is. These feel like they're gonna break really easy. Just gonna set that back in there. God, those are really sticky. All right, what we got next? Nice. Okay, so the whole reason why I'm inspired to do these videos is by a couple of guys that essentially, they call themselves the Guggen Squad. It started off just a bunch of people. Actually, I think a few of them are from Northern Illinois. One of them's name is John B. There's a guy named Peric. AP Bassin is his YouTube name. There's one rod, one reel. This guy's from like Maryland. Uh, there's a couple other guys. I don't really watch those other guys, but essentially they join forces, have their own YouTube channel called the Guggen Squad, and they make their own baits and stuff now. And they have, or like, I don't know if they live there now, but they have this place in Texas. They just have like all this stuff. They have like their own warehouse. They have all this crap. So that's like, that's next level. I'm just doing this because I think it's fun. These guys inspire me, they're really cool. This looks like some kind of topwater bait. Oh, that's cool, they have, I don't know how well you can see it, but they have the eyeball on the fish is like their, uh, what do you call it, their logo. That's kind of cool. This looks like a good bait. I've never really used topwater, but that looks sick. That looks so cool though. Next, so we got some, some head bangers. I don't even know what this is. It's like a jig head. It looks like they move. They're like swiveling around. Yeah, rocker head. You use it for craws, bugs, lizards. So, see what they did there? All right, all right. I see you. I got you. Takes your creature bait fishing to the next level. The headbanger rocker head gives an unmatched erratic, I almost said erotic, erratic action to craws, creatures, lizards. Do a straight retrieve. You can do yo yo jigging. I don't know what the, f it's the best action you've ever seen. Okay, well, that's interesting. I gotta open this one. I've never seen this before. Oh. So it's just a, it's a hook. This is probably like a four or five out hook. Probably just says on here, that no, doesn't. Uh, it's a hook. I think you can change out the hook. I don't know. But then you tie the line on here. And then this thing, I don't know what this is supposed to do in the water, but it's like, it just moves around a lot. So I guess it just gives a little more action. I'll have to try that out because I've never seen that before. Again, mystery tackle box. Showing me stuff that I've never seen before. And that's what the purpose of it is, kind of cool. All right, well, this is not gonna go back in the same exact way I got it out, so. Uh, yeah, those are just gonna be loose in my tackle box. I, I can't even, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. All right, All right last thing in here, oh, sweet. Another Guggen Squad bait. This is a jig. This is a, a juicy jig. It's got some cool colors on it. It's got some green, some white and black, some blue in there. 5 16 ounce casting jig. Nice, these are cool. So again, you can use, um, probably not this color, because now there, there'd be like seven different colors if I use this one, but you can use like these creature baits, these crawdad kind of things. This is cool, I'm excited about this one. Nice. All right, I forgot, I forgot to show you these. They're just like a, just like how to fish the stuff that you get, but this one's cool. So this one shows you like how much each thing is worth. And it looks like, hang on, I gotta do math. Nine, 18, 27, 35, 42. <laughs> Oh God, 48 <laughs> uh, plus five would be 53 plus, what is that, nine? So there's like $62 of stuff in here. What did I get it for? I think I, I think with tax, it was like $42. So they give you a lot of stuff. That's all for the box. So there's nothing else in here. Uh, it opens up, it says unfold, unfold. Then it's got like a, a scale. That's not a scale. <laughs> it's got like a ruler, like a measuring board. You want to measure your fish i don't know why you would use this exact thing but it's kind of cool if you literally just take this box in a fishing pole and do a challenge that's something i might want to do not today though so today i'm fishing with a buddy his name's cody i don't know how much i'm gonna film and i don't know if i'm gonna actually use the stuff from the mtb box but it's gonna be a fun day and if we catch a lot of fish i'll probably start filming but uh we'll get out there all right so if you couldn't tell i'm wearing different clothes uh, it's actually like a week later. I went fishing a couple times with my buddy, 
we caught like two fish so i figured i probably wouldn't even put that in there it was just kind of dumb but then i realized i didn't really make an ending to that video so uh this is it this is the end of it but the next video which is today i'm gonna make i'm gonna go out fishing with all the stuff from the mystery box and see what i can get i'm gonna attempt to catch a fish on every single one of those baits we'll see what happens though but yeah that's all for now